Hi, I'm Sam and you're probably here because moon boots have once again come back into fashion in full force this season. I did see them a little bit last year as well, but I waited until about a month ago when I finally picked these up. I have gotten some questions online about them and I've also had lots of random people just stop me in the street to ask about them. So I figured this is a, a topic that you might want to see a video about. I do have chapters just below. So if there's one particular thing you're interested in, feel free to just skip to that part of the video. Without further ado, let's get into it. themselves have actually been around for a really long time. The company started in 1969 and since then I feel like they've come in and out of style several times. Obviously when they first launched and in the 70s I feel like they had a moment then. I remember having a moment with them when I was about 13 or 14. I owned a pair that were like black and patent and I wore them until I like wore holes into the bottom of them and then the past couple of years they have come back with a vengeance. So there's got to be a reason why this weird, fluffy, chonky shoe keeps coming back and back again. And I feel like that really is the comfort of these boots and how warm they do keep your feet. This shoe is the Icon Low and I love the way that these look just being that they're a little bit more of like a mid-calf or high ankle level boot. The classic moon boots are the taller ones and those are awesome as well. I really like them and I think that they would be even warmer because they would also keep like your whole calf super super toasty. Because I don't live somewhere where there's always a lot of snow, I feel like the low version is a bit more wearable for me. They're really easy to just like get on and off and I feel like they look good with a wider variety of different types of pants. I'm a huge fan of pairing these with leggings, with sweatpants, with faux leather pants that are even a little bit wider. And I haven't worn them to the actual ski hill yet, but I feel like they look really good with like a bootleg ski pant also. <laughs> actually have deconstructed mine a little bit to show you. This part is like the outer lining that's made up of the nylon and then the interior of the shoe is actually like a foamy material. This honestly feels like the same thing you would reupholster like cushions for your patio with. It feels like a nice kind of microfibery soft texture on the inside but the outside like this is straight up foam. And interestingly enough, this is styrofoam. So these shoes are just straight up foam, styrofoam, and then they have like an outer wrapping of nylon on them. The major thing about these that's amazing is that my feet have never gone cold in them. I know Vancouver isn't super cold in the grand scheme of things, but I actually bought these boots in Toronto and it was pretty chilly when I was there. My feet were totally fine. I like walked pretty much everywhere when I was there because I didn't have a car and they were awesome for that. I think it goes without saying, but this material, like. Like, you're not gonna get blisters from these shoes. I don't think it would be possible to even because there's not really anywhere that there's friction or rubbing just because they are so, so soft. The bottom sole of these is rubber. They have little like suction cups on the bottom, which I think is interesting. And I will warn you that these are not good for traction whatsoever. I find these are really warm shoes, but if you're walking on ice, you're just still gonna slip slip and slide all over the place. Sizing for moon boots is especially confusing. Where I bought them was at Brown's and they have the sizes just divided into medium, which they say is for sizes from five to eight in women's shoes. And then there's a large, which is from nine to 11. So I'm a size 10, I got a size large. They fit me really well. I wouldn't say that they are too roomy or too tight. I think there is a certain amount that you could compress the shoe comfortably just because they are so foamy and they're not super rigid. So I think if you had a bigger foot, maybe you would just end up making like a bigger space for yourself in the foam, if that makes sense. If you 
you are on the moon boot website i feel like it does a better job of the sizing so they actually list out the european sizes and they do have three sizes together in each size of boot that they make. There is also a certain amount of adjustment that you can make with the ties. If you were in between sizes or maybe in the smaller size range of what they have on the website, like you can definitely pull these a little bit tighter as well to keep your foot in there. When I bought these, they were sold as being water resistant shoes. And I feel like the reason why they're water resistant is because the exterior, the closest part to the ground is made out of a vinyl material, which is like, you know, faux leather. So that doesn't let water penetrate into it. None of the seams are properly sealed or anything though. So eventually water would seep into that. One thing I have experienced that has been minorly unpleasant is that this hole is just quite large. And so when I have my skinny little ankle in this boot, I find that there still is a huge opportunity for snow to like come in around the outside of it. So if I am walking in like powder and I'm kind of kicking up the snow, it just goes straight in the top of the shoe very easily and then obviously melts. And then my foot gets a little bit wet like around the outside, nothing crazy. And the same thing happens with my Uggs as well if I'm walking in that particular type of snow. Just wanted to let you know that because of this big opening, I feel like it happens more often. I have noticed though, it's not as big of an issue if I'm wearing anything other than leggings. I feel like one of the funniest things about wearing these shoes is that there's very little indicator of if it's a right or a left foot. To me, this just looks completely symmetrical on either side. The person who was helping me when I got them did specifically say, this is your left foot, this is your right foot. So I've just continued wearing them on those same feet, but I really don't know how he could tell that from looking at them. Now, of course, the foam on the inside is worn down to the shape of my foot on either side, so I can tell if I've put them on the wrong feet. But initially, when I was trying them on, it just felt like I was wearing my shoes on the complete wrong feet because they are so wide and just comical looking. But one design feature that I'm not sure about is like why these have to be so, so long. I just ended up double and triple knotting mine so that I wouldn't trip on them because they are just excessively long. When it comes to pricing, I feel like there's a huge range. So the ones I got are on the low, lower end of the spectrum at $165 Canadian. The taller ones were just about 200 Canadian. And then there are versions that are, I think, real shearling, leather, wool, and then there's like a rhinestone-y version as well. Those ones are from several hundred dollars up to I think about four or five thousand dollars. So you could drop an obscene amount of money on moon boots if you wanted to. The ones with Chloe I think are so, so cute, don't get me wrong, but a thousand dollars for a pair of boots is just obviously a ton, a ton of money. I found some good dupes and I will link all of that below with the links to the boots that I have, of course. And if you want to check them out, I have found some good ones from H&M. It looks like some of them are out of stock or coming back into stock. And believe it or not, I also got an ad from Old Navy that had a pair that was very much like the Chloe ones. I tried to order the H&M ones in so that I could do a comparison, but they are not currently available. Let me know down below if that's something that you'd like me to do when they come back in stock. As always, I really hope that this video has been helpful if you were looking to buy a pair of moon boots of your own. If you ever do have any questions about things you see on my channel, you can always leave me a comment down below or you can follow me on Instagram and just send me a DM over there. I always try and get back to people as quickly as possible and I honestly do love chatting with you over DMs. Thank you so much for joining me for another video and I guess I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye!